Hello everyone. Welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right. So today I have some happy mail. Um, my wonderful friend Trish from Trish's Creative Treasures sent me two packages. So the first one is part of a make along that she did and uh, she picked me as one of the winners. And then the other one is a congratulations on my 500 subscriber slash one year anniversary on YouTube. So yay. All right. Let's start with, hmm. let's start with the giveaway first. So I have cut these open, but I have no idea. I did not peek inside. So let's see what we got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so we have some novelty yarn. Cool. Ooh. All right, so, okay. I have never seen this before. Have you guys seen this before? Huh. Um, it says nubs, uh, dark horse yarns. Yeah, dark horse yarns. Sorry, it was hard to see right there. Um, it is uh, 20 grams. It is 68 meters. It is 76% uh, viscose and 24% polyamide. Uh, looks like machine washable up to 30 degrees. Uh, lay flat to dry. Huh. So I have used many different novelty yarns in the past but i've never seen this kind so that's pretty cool that would be fun to um <clears throat> excuse me that would be fun to put it like the edge of a hat or spice up a ooh an amigurumi that could be fun all right so i'm gonna put that here oh i love these uh so it's a croquette or croquet. Um, it's Red Heart. It is 1.5 ounces, uh, 45 grams, 239 yards, uh, 219 meters. Let's see. It is a super fine number one. Looks like machine washable. Lay flat to dry. Yeah. Um, 92% cotton, 5% polyester, and 3% other fibers. That didn't have any name on it. Yeah, I read you everything that was there. There was no name for that. Let's see. This is titanium. Ooh. Look how pretty that is. Hi, baby. Do you need to come say hi? baby we have a little kitty interlude she has to come check everything out all right and then she's gonna shed everywhere because it's that time actually never mind she sheds all the time regardless doesn't matter what time of year it is yeah okay mm. Mm, some more novelty yarns. Did you have to look in the box? All right, this is gorgeous. Can you see all those colors? So I've heard of this being called uh, lattice yarns, ladder yarn, railroad track yarn. Um, I'm not sure what its actual classification is, but uh, this is beautiful and it's another dark horse yarn it is 85 percent uh, polyamide 15 percent uh, lurex it is i think those are supposed to be knitting needles it's a us seven to eight 
uh, 4.5 to 5 millimeter, so I think that's needles. And then it is 1.76 ounces, uh, 50 grams of 142 yards or 130 meters. Do you need to be here? Oh, Trish has a lot of kitties and my kitty is a jealous kitty. Yes, she is. She's always like, there shall be only one. She has to sniff everything. Can you see this? Silly girl. Um, this is made in Turkey, uh, hand wash in cold water and looks like lay flat to dry. There is a color number of A109. Oh my goodness, you are silly. <clears throat> All right. Ooh. Okay. Some more novelty yarns. Uh, J Jager, uh, beach cotton. This is, I think the the name is Shade. It is seventy six percent cotton, um, twelve percent polyester, and twelve percent nylon. It is made in Great Britain. Oh. Cool. It looks like hand wash and it is five and a half millimeter needles. Huh, that's pretty cool. It's got an interesting texture. You can see that it's got these like little, like almost little slubbies, which I actually had some novelty yarn years and years and years ago that was kind of like this and like this it was called pebble yarn i think and it made really um interesting textured hats i liked that quite a bit all right Ooh. <laughs> i got some clings I, I might have to pass those on because I, I don't have any kids, and my kitty won't care. She'll probably try and eat them, so I think I might have to pass those along to someone else. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Some scrubby cotton from Red Heart. Oh. You know, I haven't worked with this before. I've always meant to try it. Hey. Do, do you still need to be here? She's just just standing on me. <laughs> Let's see, this is the Color Coral. <clears throat> it is a medium weight number four. It is a 5.5 hook, uh, five millimeter needles. It is wash 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Um, let's see, looks like machine wash and dry. 100% cotton. Hmm. I'm not sure what's in this or if your house just smells amazing, but it's like Christmas in this bag. It smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. All right. Oh, I got another of the, the Jagger, Jagger uh, beach cotton in this very, very hot pink. Very cool. Oh, it's a dryer sheet. <laughs> I see. I see what you did there. It smells really good. I like it. Oh, here's the card. Sorry. It was it was down below. So this is uh Trisha's Creative Treasures. So got that. And I will link her down below. Are are you done? No, she's not done. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I don't want to rip her little label. Oh, pretty. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. 
Look at that. That's so gorgeous. And it's blue. I love blue. Aww. Sorry, it's for me. Oh, thank you, Trish. I really, truly appreciate this. Ooh, we got some little goodies in the bottom. Ooh. Okay. Let's see. Pioneer Woman Wax Melts. Cool. I didn't know she did wax melts, but she does everything else, so. Ooh, this is like a little rose. Actually, they're all little roses. So it looks like I have two green ones and a blue one. I do have a wax melter. Melting? I don't know. I do have a wax thing. Um, but I haven't actually used yet. I've got it last year for Christmas for myself. And I haven't used it yet. Ooh. It's, it's kind of a citrusy smell with like a hint of floral. I, I can't really identify it. Hmm. It makes me think of like a field of wildflowers. Mm. Nice. Thank you. All right. What does this smell like? Eh, it's a little strong. Now my nose is twitching. <laughs> I can't get in. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's, it kind of smells a little like a musky soap. Kind of like a like a little woodsy, but not quite sandalwood, but of the musk family. Mm, smells good. Okay. See what this is? They make these so hard to get your little fingers in there. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm in. This is clean. I would say like a linen like a linen with a little bit of um, almost a little citrusy, like linen, but extra. So very cool. And then there's this little pouch that's so cute. Oh, what do we have? Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, we got a tea. Oh, and candy. Yeah. <laughs> I like candy. Oh, and stitch markers. Wow, you, you fit a lot in that little bag. So we have a um, business card for Trisha's Creative Treasures. Um, let's see. Check me out on YouTube. Instagram and Facebook um, from crochet to bath and body candles and sewing if I can think it I can create it so, let's see not sure if she wants her phone number on there but very nice all right and so I've got a salted caramel black tea Ooh. Yum. A Tazo uh, Wild Sweet Orange. Mmm, caffeine free. Then a Dream. Drift into dreamland with the soothing taste of lavender. Valerian? Valerian? Chamomile and sweet notes of almond. Caffeine free. Mmm. And then I got some yummies. Yay! 
And then underneath all of these, I got some stitch markers. Ooh, pretty. <gasps> this has a tiny pumpkin on it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, here. Let me see. Can you see that tiny pumpkin? I love it. Oh, it's got a little leaf. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, and you know I love blue. Oh, it's got the... I'm, I'm terrible with these. It's the... It's the... What's the hand one called? If you know, let me know. I was going to say the seeing eye, but that's different, right? I don't know. I've seen it before. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> oh, and then one of her breast cancer awareness ones. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Oh, and I have a whole other bag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to put the stitch markers back in the bag because I don't want to lose those. And I'm sure I can find candy. Like, I have a nose for these things. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. And so that was just one bag. And then this was for my 500 subs. Oh. <gasps> Oh, oh, she made me something. Oh, it's one of her mug rugs. How cute. Oh, it's all, it's quilted and it's double sided. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Oh, and a, and a project bag. So cute. Wow. Your bags are so much better than mine. <laughs> so it's a drawstring. That would be perfect for like doing little little cute projects like a hat or if I ever go back to making socks. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> All right. Ooh. It's cute. Oh my gosh, that's reflective. It's holographic. They're llamas. No, no problemas. No problemas. <laughs> ah, that's cute. Oh, blind. Nice. I'll try not to blind you guys, but can you see them? That's so cute. Thank you. Oh. You included this is a candle. Let me in. You have to be smarter than the candle. Oh. It's like it's what autumn should smell like. It's cinnamon and Sweet, like a little vanilla. It might be a tiny bit of pumpkin, but I feel like it's cinnamon and vanilla. Mm, it smells so good, guys. Oh, and look at this. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. Caramel nut muffin. You, you had vanilla to muffins, right? It smells really good. <laughs> but anyways, thank you. Up it is. You didn't have to do this. Aww. I think she sent more. Ooh. Cinnamon. Uh, let's see. Cinnamon apple spice tea. Mmm, yummy. And then more stitch markers? My goodness. You get a lot in these little bags. More salted caramel. And another dream. Ooh. Oh. Oh, they're 
so pretty. I think I remember you telling us about these, how it was supposed to represent like a, kind of like a little bit of a, like a yarn ball with the wrap or like the, the skein wrapper in between. That is so cute. Ooh, ooh, that, wow, that is pretty. Guys, look at this. It's like the monster eye. Wow, that is so gorgeous. Oh, and another breast cancer awareness. That's so nice. And some candy. <laughs> Yay! Oh, don't want to lose those. All right. I put the candy with the other candy. And then you included some yarn too. Whoa. I got a card. The card keeps being on the other side. Like, it's not my fault. Let me in. Wow, I am making a mess of this. I'm in. Okay. So pretty. Congrats on hitting 500 subscribers. You'll be at a thousand before you know it. Thank you, Trish. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's a uh, Patton's Chanel. 100% uh, acrylic. Oh, remember how I thought that one was called Shade? <laughs> it, it's actually Shade is, and then it's the number. <laughs> so this is number uh, 88498. Ooh, this is really soft. Um, it is a 50 gram ball made in Ireland. <laughs> cool. Um, that is all its information. So I think that's like a three, a light three, maybe. Kind of looks like mandala size. And I got two of them. Very cool. Ha. Huh. Oh, the other one had washing instructions covered up. So it looks like hand wash and lay flat. And needles is a three and three quarter needle. I could not tell you what size that is. Oh, and then I think this is the same kind. No, this is Patton's. This is Sadar. Uh, let's see, Chanel double knitting. So DK weight, uh, machine washable. Uh, four millimeter needles, 50 gram ball, uh, made in Wakefield, England. That's cool. It is, uh, 93% acrylic, 7%, uh, nylon. Huh. So it thinks it's a DK. That looks really light to me. What do you guys think? Like this one definitely is thicker. Hm. Sometimes you never, you, you don't always agree with them. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. A chai tea latte. Yum. Powdered mix, just add water. That's my kind of, that's my kind of drink. Ooh, there's a lot of sugar in there, though. 
I might not be able to have that. That's a lot of sugar. My tummy doesn't like that much sugar. <laughs> but I will definitely pass it ooh, along. These are, ooh, this is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a star, and this star is blue. Look at that. Oh, I love these sparkly blue beads. That is pretty. <sighs> Thank you, Trish. Wow. I love it. Oh my goodness, I feel whew, a little overwhelmed. Thank you. I, I'm going to be sending you some happy mail soon. I, I did tell you that. I've just been feeling a little overwhelmed and a little crazy as of late. So, um, but I will get in the mail soon. And yeah, um, wow. I, I have a lot of things here. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Well, hopefully I'll be having a new, uh, video soon, um, showing you, or at least talking about things I'm working on and maybe showing you some whips. And other than that, um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful fall season. Um, I know we are coming up on Thanksgiving here in the United States. Um, so that'll be fun. And then Christmas is right around the corner. Yay! Um, and hopefully I'll be able to do some Christmas items and I would, I'm gonna be doing uh, Vlogmas again this year. And I think I'm going to have two different 12 days of Christmas to open with you guys. So I'm super excited about that. And that's about it for right now. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is. I hope it's wonderful.